Hey guys, I got a special video here for you today, first part of a series, and they're all going to be Umbral build videos, getting ready for Umbral, not Umbral, <laughs> for Radiant Escalation, and uh, we got about five and a half weeks-ish, so I expect about one to two videos a week, each on a new weapon. So this uh, particular build right here is really powerful, and... Uh, you'll note that this behemoth is level 19, and I am only level 11. But I just want to show you how ridiculous this build can be. So, as per always, with uh, repeaters, always try to focus the head plate. And after a short while, even if they're pretty high level it should break pretty quickly and then you want to focus on the uh, big side claws here and they should also break fairly quickly come here boy he's got to have like one hit left on it there it goes get that other claw come on there it goes um, I do recommend getting the side claws, the little small ones. They are kind of hard to aim at sometimes, but uh, totally worth getting the brakes on them. Why can't I? Sh Whoa, that was that was a, definitely a bit of lag there. I don't know what exactly happened, but my reload didn't even come into effect for a little bit. So I'm just going to bomb the shield because that's a nice easy way to get rid of it. And I'm not going to let that setback deter me at all. I'm just going to try to get around these stupid shields. Alright. Go ahead and land. Shoot that side leg. There's a break. Go around and try to get that other one, and he's dead. So, very easy run despite the little bump of lag I ran into. Uh, very, very powerful weapon. So let's get into the build really quick here. Alright, we got, all these are going to be legendary mods of course. So we got uh, Salvo Chamber, Captain's Grip. Now Salvo Chamber, for escalations, I recommend either that or Full Bore. That's kind of a preference thing. Full bore definitely does more damage shooting hand to tail, but that requires the time to get your positioning correctly. And sometimes the behemoth's moving around, it doesn't want to let you get it. Uh, I just like the spam ability and uh, fire and forget uh, kind of potential of the salvo chamber. And I know I've mentioned this before, but uh, for those of you who don't know, I have gotten top 10 on repeater leaderboards with salvo chamber before. It can potentially be incredibly powerful. Uh, not as much damage as you can get out of Marksman, obviously, but when you're doing Escalations, it's Marksman's effectiveness is all going to be based on what behemoths you run into and how they move around. So uh, I try to stick with the simple ones for that. Captain Grip and Tac Mag, of course, are always uh, a must-have. Stalkers, Cries, uh, for this one, that's the Rift Stalker weapon, and uh, that's fairly obvious. You know, the, the Orb one, you get extra attack power out of that, so it's great. Discipline, of course, for the critical abilities and the boop uh, potential, because that's pretty much all we do is boop. Or that's all we have to boop with, I'm sorry. Broadside Lantern, our really only reliable way to get heavy attacks with this weapon. And uh, it's just great when you run into a behemoth that needs a heavy attack to knock him out of something like Quill Shot or Koshai, for example. Uh, this build, uh, here's the items in here. Now we might be able to switch this around a little bit and get slightly more radiant resistance on this, but I'm not honestly too concerned about it. The only thing that really matters that much is the perk summary, so if you can swap this out for the uh, time weave robes and get all the same perks on there, great. I didn't take the time to do it because I don't care that much. Uh, Berserker, of course, for fast-firing weapons. Cunning is good on everything. Overpower is especially good on 1-13s and 10-50s because Behemoth is going to be on the ground for most of the fight from all the part-breaking you're doing. 
Uh, Predator, again, they're not going to get to fight back because they're going to be on the ground the whole time. Pulse, because uh, crit hit damage is the most important, but every fifth being guaranteed a critical strike is still awesome. Assassin's Frenzy, again, for all the perp breaks you're going to get, it's going to help you uh, reach that attack speed cap very quickly at the start of the fight. And Molten will also help you uh, do that there. Uh, you could maybe take ca yeah, Cascade if you really wanted to, but I, hi I really highly recommend Molten. Tonics and Pots don't really matter. I have these on in case I want to do an underleveled run. Bulwark Tonics help you live if you're level 5 and attend to 50 with your buddies. Um, but honestly, it really doesn't matter that much. Cleansing pylons I like just in case I run into something with a lot of fire, so I can just stand in the lava and not worry about it. But uh, for the most part, that's not really going to matter that much. And uh, that's the build video, so I will definitely be back in uh, less than a week with another build video. I don't know what weapon I'm doing yet, but if I haven't done yours yet, stay tuned. And I will catch you guys later.